Hi everyone, this is Sean. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the Walk with Sean series where I take a walk or a run and I just get everything off my mind. Usually I think about some of the comments on YouTube and I just think about different ways of resolving situations out there. So today's video comes from a subscriber request our subscriber goes by the name of Neil. And here are the facts as I understand them based on the comment that he posted. So Neil works at a hospital. Originally, that hospital was under management by Allied Universal Security. Allied Universal Security was replaced by Neil's current company, which is a rather small security company. During the transfer of management, a lot of the allied universal security officers were hired by Neil's security company. Well, it's not his security company, but his employer. He reported some issues to the county's whistleblower program and not much has been done and then he reported the issue to the bsis and guys and gals by the way the camera is unsteady because i am taking a walk you can't make a walk with sean series if we're not walking together anyhow um go ahead and put your phone away or your smart device and just listen to the audio so the BSIS stands for the Bureau of Security and Investigative Services they are the regulatory arm for private security and private investigation professionals in the state of California other states have different names for the regulatory arm I believe Florida the Department of Agriculture oversees private security licensing Neil makes a report to BSIS and it doesn't seem that they care. I'm not going to hold anything back, guys. Um, I don't want to come off as arrogant, but I want to be real with everybody here. I'm not an attorney. This is not legal or professional advice. This is just Sean's opinion, his personal opinion. So, Neil, my answer to you about BSIS, BSIS is not going to take any enforcement action unless there's unlicensing activity. So if you have an unlicensed private security partner that you're working with, and it's confirmed that he's unlicensed, if you notify BSIS, they take action most of the time. Now it might be slow. They don't have too many investigators. I think they only have one investigator and I think they're working on a second in the whole entire state of California, but that's it. And then they have I think it's like 15 analysis, analysts, I'm sorry, analysts who perform investigation or inspection like duties. But you're not gonna go too far with BSIS unless there's unlicensed activity. Now, if there's unreported use of force, that's a different issue. They have to report, they have to report the use of force to BSIS in a written format. Now, you wouldn't know if there's a report unless you have access to some of the management records because I'm, I'm telling you they might tell you oh we're gonna have to report this to bsis but unless you have access to those records your complaint it could be a frivolous complaint neil um you're gonna have to do some more work on that if if that's the case so that your complaints of bsis would th there wouldn't be there's not too much merit unless those issues are present now let's talk about neil how you consulted with the whistleblower um whistleblower investigators so usually what whistleblower and in investigators investigate are violations of of laws so if the security company that you're working for is breaking the law 
then the whistleblower hotline or the whistleblower investigators would be the appropriate people to contact. Now also, if there are gross waste of resources, public resources, then your whistleblower investigators should investigate and should take action. So for example, if the guards are sleeping on duty, okay, that's a gross waste of public resources because they're not doing their job. Um, that's where you can report something. And now also make sure that you keep a written record of all your complaints. Because Neil, I'll tell you this, and a lot of other subscribers are probably th thinking the same thing. There's a good possibility that your company is going to retaliate against you for making all of these complaints. So make sure you keep a written record of everything because it is against the law in, in the United States to take retaliatory action against a whistleblower. Um, otherwise, Neil, I, I know that you're thinking about going to Allied Universal to get $30 an hour. You know, I know that pay is a determining factor on the different types of security work that you're interested in, 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 in entertaining, but it's, it's still allied. Um, you, you might have the same, the same type of, of work ethic. Now, $30 an hour, sometimes that, I mean, that sometimes you might get more professional coworkers, but look, you're getting 23 an hour right now. All of those Allied Universal guys that were kept, um, they used to get 30 something an hour, right? And then now they're getting 23. Are they still substandard employees? According to the comments, I think we can infer that they are. So that's pretty much all what I have, ladies and gentlemen. Please offer Neil some suggestions. That's what this channel is for. I don't have all the answers to everything. I, I can't resolve every single issue or I can't address every single issue in a 10 minute, 11 minute or 12 minute video or even an hour video. All right, everybody. Be safe and please make intelligent options out there.